Hi, what can I help you with today? Hi, can you see if I'm available at 2 p.m. today? If I am, you can schedule a call with Pablo at that time. Okay, I will check your calendar and schedule a call with Pablo at 2 p.m. today. It looks like you are not available at 2 p.m. today. Would you like me to check for another time or assist you with something else? Yeah, please check for 3 p.m. I have checked your calendar and found you are available at 3 p.m. today. I scheduled a call with Pablo for that time and sent him a confirmation. So we're going to start off in a completely new NHN workflow here so I can show you step by step how to actually make this voice AI agent assistant. And by the way, we are use, going to use 11 labs to basically host the voice assistant and then that 11 labs can use this NHN workflow as for custom operations like you saw with the email and also the calendar. So we're going to head over to 11 labs. As you can see in here, we are using 11 labs because it is one of the best uh, AI voice software so you can use even use it for free by starting off with uh, 10 minutes of ultra high quality text to speech and also 15 minutes of conversational ai which we, is what we're going to use so just click on get started and you will just have a dashboard showing up like this and in here we want to use the conversational ai so you can just click on that and inside of here you want to create a new agent so you will probably be prompted with that if you go to agents so i'm just going to create my own new agent and in here i'm just going to call this agent uh, personal uh, assistant then we're going to start off with a blank template because we are actually going to make this completely custom from the ground up and then i'm just going to click on create or under here and now i can move myself over to the left and i also need to turn my camera back on and we are going to start creating this personal assistant so in here we can just say that we want to use english of course and you can also choose which type of voice you want here uh, you can use eric and you can have a little uh, pre preview of the voice here you can just click on like that, or you can just switch to whatever you would like, but for now we'll just stick with Eric and we will go over to the agent. And in here we want to, for the first message, you can say whatever you want. I'm just going to say, hey, uh, what can I help you with today? As the first message, so the agent will actually say the first message. You will not say hello first, because if you don't have this message in, you will have to say hello to the agent first. But I just like to have the agent say, hi, what can I help you with today first? So for the system prompt, we are actually going to say that you are a helpful uh, personal assistant, like so, and we will add to this prompt later because first we actually need to add some tools. But for the LLM, we want to use Gemini 1.5 Flash because that is the one they recommend we use when we use tools. And the temperature is basically how creative it, it will be. Uh, you don't want to have to be too creative. 0.5 is good. And you can also limit the token usage if you want to limit that, but have it to minus one and you won't limit any tokens. Uh, token usage and for the knowledge base we will actually use uh, nhn as the knowledge base if you wanted to have a knowledge base you could either just add it in here or you could just uh, set up a rag agent in nhn and have that as your knowledge base and as you can see uh, the current tool this uh, ai agent has is end call so it's basically able to end the call with you if you don't want that if you want to end the call yourself you can just uh, throw away this but for now we'll just add a tool and this tool is something we will call uh, we can just call edit and tool and also added a description code saying call this tool whenever you are prompted with doing any custom tasks like checking my calendar or sending emails and we also need to set this get method to post and then paste the url in here we also need to add some body parameters so click on enable in here we want to only want to send one property because we can use the ai agent we have in our and then workflow to actually make the decisions on who to send the email to and also how to check the calendar. So you can just say that this is the query. So I just said, this is the query you send to the AI agent who will be able to check my calendar and send emails. Therefore, give it a quick query of what actions I wanted to do. We also need to add a description here. So you can say that the body parameter description is the only property here is query as you will just use is to send a prompt to an AI agent who can check my calendar and send emails. So once you're done with that, you can click on add tool. And now this will be able to use that NHN tool whenever we prompted with some custom actions like checking my calendar and sending emails. So once you're done with that, you can click on save. Really important that you actually save this before you click on the uh, test agent because now we're actually going to, let me just turn my camera again. Okay, so I just realized I forgot to add the tool inside of the system prompt. So the AI agent actually, or the assistant actually knows that it can use the NHN tool whenever it needs to do some custom actions. So I'm just basically telling it in here that it needs to use the NHN tool whenever it needs to do some custom actions like uh, checking my calendar or sending emails. 
So once you've pasted that in, click on save. Really important that you save this uh, personal assistant before we test it. So now what we can do is we can come back over to our anytime scenario or our workflow and we can click on, uh, first of all, we just need to put this HTTP method to uh, post and we can put this one back to immediately because we're not going to use respond to webhook uh, right now. Once you've done that, you can click on t listen for test events and head back over to your uh, uh, 11 apps here. And we can just put this little guy over to the right hand side like this. Beautiful. And now what we can do is we can click on test AI agent and we can try to talk with this guy to see whether he uses the tool. So now we're just going to call it. Call it. Hi, can you ask Pablo to go to volleyball tomorrow at 11 a.m. sending him an email? No. Beautiful. Okay, there, so there you go. Uh, as you can see, we now got this uh, output message right here, which had the query from the body as we uh, designed it. And it said, send Pablo an email asking him to go to volleyball tomorrow at 11 a.m. Beautiful. So now we can actually pin this message right here, and we can use this to create the rest of our workflow in n So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pin this right here, pin it, and then we can add an AI agent in here. There we go. Find the AI agent. And we are just going to say that this, and define this below, and we're going to say that the text here is what we got from the body query. There we go. Query right there. Beautiful. And we can click on add option because we want to add a little system message here. Um, we just want to say personal assistance like that. And we'll add more to this message later, but for now we'll just add that and we can click on chat model because we want to use, let's just use OpenAI for a mini because that's just easy for testing. For a mini, there we go. We want to use the OpenAI account. There we go. And we want to use a little tool here called send email. Or well, first we can get contacts actually. So let's do Google Sheets. I have my contacts in a Google Sheets document just for testing, but we want to choose Google Sheets. You need to connect to your Google Sheets account. We want to get rows uh, like this, exactly like this. And I want to search for contacts. So let's see, contacts, there we go. And from sheet, we want to use sheet one. And there we go, and that is set up correctly. And now I want to add a little calendar tool here. So we just can just search for calendar because we can find our Google's calendar tool. There we go. I need to turn my camera back on again. There we go. Okay. So you can just connect to your own calendar. I connected to my Gmail calendar. And in the start, we actually don't want it, this to be starting always right now and ending in one hour. So we can just add this little, let the model define this parameter. Click on that for both of them. Because then the AI agent can actually, actually set the meeting to whenever or whatever event you have it to whenever you say tell it to. Beautiful. So now we can create events. We also want it to get events or get calendar. So again, we want to use the Google Calendar tool. And in here, we want to get events. So we can just change this from, we want to get calendar and we want to also use the yeah, availability. There we go. And again, we want to use the calendar. So I'm using my own calendar there again. And again, we want to let the AI decide these start times and end times. And for the last tool, we are going to add a Gmail tool because we want to send Gmails or emails to the people in our contact list. So you can just search for Gmail, use the Gmail tool, and in here, we want to send a message and two needs to be generated by AI. Same does the subject. And we want to use text for this one. And we also want the message to be generated by AI. Beautiful. That is all set up. So I just went ahead and added a little message here for the description of the Google Sheets. What we can do is we can just say that use this to use this to get contact information, information because the AI agent might not know that the Google Sheets is used for that because it only says read, update, and write Google Sheets data. So once you're done with that, you can go over to your AI agent. And in here, we just want to add something to the system message. So I just added, use the tools available to you to get contact info, check calendar, schedule events in my calendar, and send emails to my contacts. Of course, this is a bad prompt, but this is just for showcasing what the AI agent can do. So what we want to do now is we can just test the AI agent there. Just click on test it and we can see what it will do. So it will now use the contact info to get contact info of Pablo, because use the message we sent from the, or the message that the 11 Labs voice agent sent from uh, what I talked, said to it. And then it will just use the contact info to send, to find Pablo's uh, contact info and send that email to him. So now I can check my email inbox here and as you can see, we now got a little 
uh, message here saying hi Pablo are you uh, up for some volleyball tomorrow at 11 a.m superb okay now we just need to add a respond to webhook so we can respond to the voice assistant that we use so just search for respond add the respond to webhook and this is really simple you can just leave it as is because this will use the first incoming item which will be this item right here which is just uh, responding to AI agent responding saying I have sent an email to Pablo asking him to to join for available tomorrow at 11 a.m beautiful so what we can do now is we can just change this to be from immediately to respond to a webhook node beautiful and by the way if you want this to uh, be run for production you obviously need to change this to production url and this url you need to add that to your 11 labs and replace that with the test url and you also need to set this to active so it will run anytime you uh, call the ai uh, assistant so that is it if you enjoyed the video please make sure to subscribe and if you want us to implement some more advanced ai uh, automation stuff than this please make sure to click the link in the description and i will see you in the next video